Hello and welcome to Celestial Chronicles, the channel where we explore the stories of the Bible and their relevance for today. In this video, we will talk about three evil queens in the Bible who did wicked things such as idolatry, murder, and adultery. They are Jezebel, Athaliah, and Herodias, and their stories are told in the books of Kings and Chronicles. These women were not only wicked, but also powerful and influential. They used their positions to oppose God and his people, and to promote their own agendas. They faced severe consequences for their actions, and their names have become synonymous with evil. Let's take a closer look at each of these queens and what we can learn from their lives. The first queen we will talk about is Jezebel, the queen of Israel. She was married to King Ahab, who forsook God and followed Baal, a false god of the Canaanites. Jezebel was the daughter of a Phoenician priest-king, and a zealous worshipper of Baal. She brought hundreds of Baal's prophets and priests to Israel, and built temples and altars for them. She also killed many prophets of God and tried to kill Elijah, the prophet who confronted Ahab and challenged Baal's prophets on Mount Carmel. Jezebel was not only an idolater, but also a murderer. She conspired to murder Naboth, a righteous man who owned a vineyard near the palace. She wanted to give the vineyard to Ahab, who coveted it. She arranged for false witnesses to accuse Naboth of blasphemy and treason, and then had him stoned to death. She then told Ahab to take the vineyard as his own. God sent Elijah to pronounce judgment on Ahab and Jezebel for their wickedness. He said that dogs would lick Ahab's blood in the same place where Naboth was killed, and that dogs would eat Jezebel by the wall of Jezreel. These prophecies came true after Ahab died in battle and Jezebel was thrown out of a window by her own servants. She was eaten by dogs, and nothing was left of her except her skull, feet, and palms. The second queen we will talk about is Athaliah, the queen of Judah. She was the daughter of Ahab and Jezebel, and the wife of King Jehoram of Judah. She influenced her son Ahaziah to do evil and worship Baal, just like her parents. Ahaziah was killed by Jehu, the king of Israel, who was anointed by God to destroy the house of Ahab. Athaliah then seized the throne of Judah and killed all her grandchildren, except one, Josh, who was hidden in the temple by his aunt Jehoshabah and his uncle Jehoiada, the high priest. Athaliah usurped the throne of Judah for six years, and tried to eradicate the royal line of David, from whom the Messiah would come. She also defiled the temple of God and worshipped Baal. God preserved Josh, the rightful heir, and raised him in the temple. When he was seven years old, Jehoiada gathered the people and the army, and crowned Josh as the king of Judah. He then ordered the execution of Athaliah, who tried to stop the coronation. She was killed by the people at the entrance of the temple. Jehoiada also destroyed the temple of Baal and killed its priest. He restored the worship of God and the covenant with the people. Josh reigned as a good king, as long as Jehoiada was alive. The third queen we will talk about is Herodias, the queen of Galilee. She was married to Herod Philip, the half-brother of Herod Antipas, the tetrarch of Galilee and Perea. She then divorced Philip and married Antipas, who was also her uncle. She violated the law of Moses by committing adultery, and by marrying her brother-in-law. John the Baptist, the forerunner of Jesus, rebuked Herod and Herodias for their sin, and called them to repent. Herodias hated John and wanted to kill him, but Herod feared him and protected him. He knew that John was a righteous and holy man, and he liked to listen to him, even though he was perplexed by his message. Herod also feared the people, who regarded John as a prophet. Herodias found an opportunity to get rid of John when Herod celebrated his birthday with his nobles, officers, and guests. Her daughter, Salome, who was also the daughter of Philip, danced before Herod and pleased him. He promised to give her anything she asked, up to half of his kingdom. She consulted with her mother, who told her to ask for John's head on a platter. Herod was grieved, but he did not want to break his oath or lose face before his guests. He ordered the execution of John, and his head was brought on a platter to Salome, who gave it to her mother. Herodias was responsible for the death of a righteous and holy man, who prepared the way for the Lord. These are the stories of the three evil queens in the Bible. They show us the consequences of idolatry, murder, and adultery, and the danger of following the ways of the world. They also show us the contrast between the wicked and the righteous, and the power of God over the schemes of the enemy. We can learn from these stories to avoid the sins of these women, and to follow the example of those who obeyed God and stood for His truth. We can also trust in God's promise to bring justice and salvation to His people, through His Son, Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave a comment below and let us know what you think. We would love to hear from you. Until next time, God bless you.